Let's finish off this learning plan talking about gout. Gout is an, is an inappropriate uric acid metabolism, either over, over um, production or under secretion. It, it creates uric acid crystals within the joints, commonly the, the great toe, the ankle, the wrist, uh, inflamed joints, redness, a lot of pain. Uh, NSAIDs are the number one recommended therapy for this. We're going uh, now. We've we just talked about NSAIDs. We're going to talk about some specific um, anti-gout agents. Allopurinol is indicated for increased production of uric acid. Colchicine is reduces the infl inflammatory response to those uric acid crystals, and probenecid increases the excretion of uric acid. Now remember, gout is the inappropriate uric acid metabolism, either overproduction or under secretion. So we have three different ways of treating this. Stop producing it, get rid of it, and reduce inflammation. Allopurinol inhibits xanthine oxidase, which prevents production of uric acid. Uh, some Steven, Son Steven Johnson syndrome is the main major side effect. It can cause renal failure, agranulocytosis, and anemia. We'll monitor I and O carefully with this. We're going to encourage, we're going to push fluids. Two and a half to three liters of water a day. We're going to assess for a rash. That's major. Remember, Steven, Steven Johnson syndrome is a high risk for this. We're going to monitor uric acid levels using blood tests, and we're going to check the CBC, watching out for um, aplastic anemia. Colchicine reduces the inflammatory response to the uric acid crystals. Agranulocytosis again, leukopenia, aplastic anemia, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Those are all the major things we're going to be watching for. Again, monitor INO. We're going to push fluids one more time, 2,500 to 3,000 milliliters, 2.5 to 3 liters a day. We're going to assess for pain, mobility, and edema. We're going to watch for muscle pain, weakness and tingling or numbness, unusual bleeding, fatigue. Signs, those are all signs and symptoms of toxicity. We're going to monitor creatinine and BUN, monitor uric acid level like before, and the CBC. Probenicid. In inhibits reabsorption of uric acid within the kidney. This increases excretion of uric acid. This is used to prevent gout. Does not treat it once it's present. Most common side effects, nausea and vomiting and aplastic anemia. Also causes headache and uric acid kidney stones. INO, push fluids, two and a half to three liters a day. Pain, mobility and edema and all the other labs, the BUN, the creatinine, the uric acid level, and CBC. That's how we treat gout. We can either prevent it, prevent the uh, creation of uric acid, encourage the excretion of it, and reduce the inflammation. That's gout. That's the end of Learning Plan 10.